What's up, y'all? It's Kyber Crosswire, and I'm back for another viral wig video. And today's video is going to be on this curtain bang wig. I love this. It's so freaking cute, and it's going to be an awesome fall look. So if you guys are interested in seeing how I got this style this way, please stay tuned. All right, y'all, so y'all can see I'm looking a little crazy by the head because I just cut my braids out that I just had. And y'all know I have a pixie cut, so that's why my braids are so, so short. But here is today's star of the video. It is the Free Tress Curtain Bang uh, HD Lace Wig. And this is in the shade 1, so it is a jet black color. And yeah, we are just going to jump right in. I'm taking this wig cap. Don't have to do a ball cap method or anything like that because this uh, is a, a T-part wig and it is a curtain bang. So there's no lace in the front. It's just lace for the uh, scalp in the middle. And I'm just pulling that wig cap back so that way uh, I can pull the wig up to the correct spot where it needs to be on my head. And I am utilizing the clips in the wig as well that they provide to stick inside of the wig cap and my braids to anchor it down so that it can stay in place. Um, so as I'm putting it on, of course, this is to me not one of the wigs that you just throw on and go. It is, however, easy to style in five minutes or less. But I think it does take a tad bit of tweaking if you want it to look as best as it can. But you could definitely wear this outside the box. Just you pop, plop it on and go. But for me, I always like to play around with my wigs a little bit just to kind of fit it to my liking and how it looks on me. So literally, I'm just taking uh, a Denman brush and using it to brush it out, like to make it a little more fluid. And as you can see from the that clip to this clip, it already looks more natural, more uniform. It's giving human hair, honey. It is giving... HD uh, full lace frontal wig that I decided to do curtain bangs on. <laughs> um, I feel like you can't even tell that this is a synthetic wig for real, but it all is in the preparation of everything because you can absolutely make it look like a human hair wig. You just gotta, you know, play around with it. And y'all know from my last video that I did with a a uh, super popular wig it was the butter lace wig y'all know from that wig that you know honey you can get a look you just have to work on it and play around with it and that wig came out amazing so i'm just taking a comb and you know separating the hair that was together in front to kind of define that part because we are going to go ahead and clip everything back so that we can you know do a little bit of concealer in the part just to make it look a little bit more natural get into the lashes honey some of the girls were starting to droop on me a little bit so if y'all see me looking like i got a little lazy eye or something it's because my extensions was trying to fall into my eye honey and then these with these bangs and everything it was just it was sending me for a second honey i had to turn my fan on because i was hot and you know i had to get this stuff out of my face so i could get it done right so i'm taking this elf concealer in a con flat concealer brush Nothing too crazy. You can really use any brush that you have that's skinny enough to get into the, you know, the defined space to, you know, avoid getting any concealer on your hair. Um, and I'm literally just going down the part just to give it a little bit more pizzazz. And it is just going to make the wig look even more natural to have more of a scalp color than the brownish, like gray, almost color sometimes that these wigs come with on the lace. Uh, so once I did that, um, I believe at this point I had had my hot comb plugged up already to kind of flatten it down a little bit on the sides, but I am taking this Equate dry shampoo and aside from using dryer sheets, dry shampoo is another way that you can take the shine off of a synthetic wig simply because dry shampoo, basically one of the things that it does is remove shine and oils from the hair. So in turn, it kind of works in that same way with a synthetic wig by taking the shine away from it, you know, that plagued plasticky shine that most synthetic wigs have. And honey, once I did that, I feel like it turned the wig up even more and it made it look even more natural because it took a lot of that shine away. Some shine is okay because you get that luster and that sheen, but we don't want to be looking like plastic or like a Barbie doll, honey. That's mm -mm, not with the hair. We, wanna, we, we Barbies, but we don't want to look like a Barbie doll from the head, okay? 
So yeah, once I did that and that Equate dry shampoo, y'all, I literally only paid like $2 for it at Sam's Beauty Warehouse. And y'all, it smells so good. But now, y'all, like I said, most of getting it how you want is just going to be to play around with it. I love how they cut the layers in this hair because you have the bangs. Then there's another layer uh, that is right beneath it. And then another layer that is after that. So it gives it a lot of body and a lot of shape. So I think they did a really good job at designing the cut on here. So y'all just see me playing around and seeing kind of how I want to wear it. I love how wispy the bangs are and how they just flow. Um, it is kind of annoying because I have really long lash extensions, but we can make it work. And I was actually thinking about cutting them just a tad, but I was like, girl, you know what? I'm looking good and we're going to let this wig do her thing. But yeah, I'm going to leave the link for you guys how to purchase this wig. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Mwah.